when you're doing a full pour. Two glasses of wine may taste differently, even though the grapes were grown in the same region, bottled at the same vineyard, and poured from the same bottle. The difference? Background music. Big, bold, subtle, and refined. A study from the UK suggests your taste in music might influence how you taste wine. Researchers had a group of taste testers drink either a Chardonnay or Cabernet Sauvignon while listening to one of four pieces of music. No matter what they were drinking, participants consistently described their wine according to the background tunes. Mellow, soft, zingy, refreshing. Experts say it's true, we tend to have physical reactions to music. If music has a fast beat, our heart rate picks up. If it has a slow beat, our heart rate kind of matches it. But wine connoisseurs aren't easily swayed by this new research. Oh, well, that's Sam Ryburn of Arthur's Wine Shop in Charlotte, North Carolina, says he prefers jazz, but doesn't need it to enjoy his favorite vino. It's the conversation and the camaraderie uh, that I'm looking for. <laughs> Wine does lend itself to camaraderie, no matter what kind of music is playing in the background. But maybe musicians know something we don't. Singer Dave Matthews has a variety of wines called Dreaming Tree. And a member of the band Train came out with a petite Syrah named after one of its popular songs, Drops of Jupiter. I think what's fun for individuals that look at this study is to try and pay attention to their senses a little bit differently. And remember that your grape may taste a little differently, depending on your groove. Michaela Hunt, NBC4.